I had a question about uh, sexual appetite. Uh, I think for for men, it's almost that compulsive, uh, the compulsive nature that we have adopted. And I'm wondering whether or not if one becomes more spiritual, their sexual appetite also becomes not so much a compulsive appetite. See, every aspect of your life, a human being is capable of making it conscious that includes sexuality, you can make that also into your conscious process. So once it's conscious process, it is no more something which decides the course of your life. It is not something that is compulsively working within you. It is something that you decide. That's how human life should be, isn't it? Everything you decide, you're not pushed or pulled into anything. And because it's compulsive, how many varieties of trouble people have gotten into, isn't it? If it was a conscious process, they would know when, where, how, what, isn't it? Just see the kind of amount of abuse, sexual abuse that is happening, you're not even leaving infants. That's not normal, isn't it? That's not even human. That's not even animal, it's sub-animal, isn't it? Because it's such a compulsive force. And yes, it's most terrible for the child, but my sympathy is also for the man. How degenerated he must be, how compulsive he must be to do something like that, that a human being can reduce himself to that level, how compulsive a force it should be within himself to do such a thing, isn't it? So that's simply because no conscious process has been brought forth into life. If only if people did something consciously at least for ten minutes a day, you would see all these things would go down dramatically, dramatically. They are not starved of sex. It is not because sex is not available for them. It is because it's such a compulsive force that they have to do something like this, isn't it? And it's becoming a big thing, not just in one place, worldwide. It is becoming such a big thing. It is not that it's not been in the past, it's probably more coming out now than ever before. But it's always been like this. People are clothed in human body, but living like absolute animals within themselves, doing things that even an animal would hesitate to do. Isn't it? Even an animal would hesitate to do certain things that human beings are doing. So it has to become a conscious process, it need not be a drive. It need not be a compulsive drive, it can be a conscious process. Once it is conscious, how much of what you need in your life can be decided by you? Whether something is needed or not also can be decided by you, isn't it?